Similarly here, I can search the web and I can use a very different uh, various things. You'll notice when I click on here, um, so if I click on here, it's gonna open a new tab just like this and it's gonna give me an opportunity to do some reading, okay? So um, this paragraph is actually the paragraph I have on my first page. So that's really useful. So I need to make sure that I cite that information. So what I'm gonna do is you'll notice when I hover over this information, you see these little uh, citations come up. So if I just click this button, I get a little tiny one right there. What does that mean? Well, when I scroll down to the bottom of the page, it automatically identifies the source where this information came from. So good footnoting means that I actually should do every sentence should have its own footnote. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm also going to cite the same page. So I'm just gonna click here. You'll notice this becomes a one, this becomes a two, and down at the bottom of the page, I have the citation. Auto automatically, it started doing all the things that I needed to. If I press this little button, I can see that I actually can change the format. So let's try Chicago. This is one we often use in history. So let's say for, um, I'm gonna pull some new information. I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna talk about the MNC. I'm gonna copy and paste that because I, I like it. And of course, because I'm a good student, I'm gonna make sure I use a direct quote. Okay, so I'm gonna use my quote. And now again, I'm going to cite this. It's going to add it as number three because it's the third footnote. I'm gonna scroll down and you can see that the way the information is written is different. And that's important because it allows me to identify where those that information is and depending on who's asking, it's going to change what that looks like. All right, these may not be perfect citations, but it's certainly better than plagiarism.